Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Billy Mayhew will get violent with Paul Foreman's buddy in forthcoming Coronation Street scenes. The drama has planned an explosive storyline for Tuesday's episode, February 13, centered on Valentine's Day as Billy struggles with persistent back pain. Billy recently damaged his back while assisting Paul, who has begun to lose mobility as a result of his motor neurone disease, MND. He tells Summer that despite his agony, he will continue to prepare a special Valentine's Day, including giving Paul a new bike with a sidecar. Billy can hardly make it through the romantic night, so he takes pills before coming to the bistro to see Paul. The day becomes even worse when Paul sees a former schoolmate, Benno, and his raucous buddies causing a ruckus in the bistro. Billy tries not to be too bothered by the interruption because he has planned a surprise performance for Paul in a barbershop. However, Benno quickly causes further trouble by attempting to push Paul to dance, prompting Billy to strike Paul's erstwhile friend in a fit of rage. Billy has been under a lot of pressure in recent weeks as he has struggled with his decision to help Paul end his life with dignity in the future. Daniel Brocklebank, a cast member on Coronation Street, has collaborated with the Motor Neurone Disease Association on an advertising campaign that will air during the serial. Throughout the MND plot, advertisements will air that combine the important moments in Paul's journey with stories of real people affected by the condition. Coronation Street has been working on Paul's plot with the MND Association, which works to improve access to care, research, and advocacy for those affected by motor neurone disease. MND Connect, 8088026262, is open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. calls are free. In subsequent episodes, Joel Deering will exhibit unusual behavior after meeting a mysterious woman. This week's scenes will show Joel meeting a new client after his girlfriend Dee Dee has finished her work, but their meeting is cut short by newcomer Emily, who appears to be upset about something. He then walks her out of the bistro while Toya looks on, wondering who she could be. And next week's scenes will see the storyline progress as Joel keeps his cards close to his chest. Then, in scenes due to run on February 16, Dee Dee tells Alia she's perplexed by Joel's recent behavior, revealing that he's been aloof since they confessed their affections for one another. Joel finally tries to make apologies by sending Dee Dee flowers and offers to cook her a romantic dinner, claiming that his absence was caused by a hectic week at work. Will Joel's schmoozing efforts persuade Dee Dee, or will she know there's more going on? The storyline has caused some fans to question Joel's motivations, although DD actor Chenik Sterling Brown has hinted that the developments may not be fatal for Joel and her character. I understand some individuals have been suspicious. I have seen the remarks, but I really believe DD and Joel may have a future together. They have long-term potential, she told Inside Soap. Being in a relationship is something new for DD. For her to have someone she can rely on in this way, especially given what is going on with her family, she begins to see Joel in a new light. He's someone who supports her and has her back. Dee Dee is normally everyone else's support system, but Joel prioritizes her, which means a lot to her. Coronation Street will air another heated argument between Bethany Platt and Daisy Midgley next week. Daisy hasn't been pleased since Bethany returned to the cobbles and began dating Daniel Osborne, for whom Daisy still has feelings. Following this Sunday scenes in which Daniel confronts Bethany for selling a story about the Daisy Ryan Daniel love triangle to a gossip magazine, the soap has confirmed an argument between Bethany and Daisy for next Monday, February 12. In the scenes, Bethany apologizes to Daniel and attempts to rekindle their relationship by promising never to hurt him again as well as to reach out to Daisy and reconcile with her. Later, she approaches Daisy and persuades her that they should go for coffee together. However, that coffee quickly turns into a serious disagreement between the two of them. Can Bethany be able to hold her ground and can the two ladies ever be friends? Amy Barlow from Coronation Street will seek answers from Tracy and Tommy. Lucy Fallon, who plays Bethany, expressed hope that the two will eventually get along, saying, Obviously, they both want the same thing, Daniel. I believe there will but be I a also power struggle Bethany, between them. with everything she's been through in the past with men, all the stuff with Nathan and everything, 
I don't see her just going out on the street for another woman or another girl for a long time. I would like to think eventually they would be more friends rather than hating on each other like they are at the moment. Lauren Bolton of Coronation Street is ready to reveal a secret to friends Max Turner and Sabrina Adetiba in forthcoming scenes. Lauren is claimed to have a wealthy lover who has sent her expensive gifts such as a jewelry in recent months, but she has kept his identity hidden. Max and Sabrina questioned whether Lauren was lying about having a new partner, and just as they suggested the four of them meet up, Lauren abruptly announced that they had split up. However, viewers are aware that Lauren is in contact with a mystery man because she has been receiving hidden phone calls, though his name has yet to be revealed. Lauren struggles in scenes that will run next week, February 13, 14, and 16, when she discovers that all of the books she needs for her impending exam are on loan at the library. When she tells her new friend Bobby Crawford about it, he sends Evelyn the list in the hopes that she may discover some of the items at the charity shop. Bobby has a thing on Lauren and even brings her a bouquet of flowers later in the week. However, he is quickly overshadowed when a delivery man enters the cafe with a considerably larger bouquet for Lauren. Lauren receives a phone call and Bobby suspects she is already seeing someone. Despite getting a last demand from her energy company, she instructs the person on the other end of the phone to leave her alone because she does not need their money. Bobby is overjoyed when Lauren accepts his date proposal indicating a desire to move on from her unknown ex. However, when friends Max and Sabrina later visit her flat and discover her sexily dressed, she admits to them that she makes movies for Ovids, the same adult site that Ryan Connor utilized. Is this related to her mystery boyfriend, and what more is Lauren hiding? Samia Longchimben, who plays Maria Connor on Coronation Street, has described her character's terrible discoveries regarding her son Liam. Mason Radcliffe's bullying will have a negative impact on Liam's mental health in the following weeks. After months of anguish, the kid will consider suicide next week, February 14. Lon Chambon spoke with Digital Spy and other media outlets about Maria's anxiety when she discovered the magnitude of her son's bullying problems. She is really shocked by it, and it's so painful for her to witness what her son has been through, and he hasn't felt comfortable talking to her or Gary, she explained. I think that's what hurts her as well, because she's like, why hasn't he told us? We could have helped him. And he's been going through this on his own, which makes it even more terrible. The actress also talked about Maria's own trolling issues and how they helped her better understand Liam's emotions. There's a really nice scene between Maria and Liam where she says to him, I remember when I was going through it with the online trolls and I thought it would never get better, but it does. And you need to know that it won't last forever, so talk to us and don't keep this kind of thing to yourself because we can help, and it will pass, basically. So she tries to relate to him because she has been there before. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.